hey y'all and welcome back to another video um today your girl is running errands today is friday i took friday off just so i can kind of just have some time to myself before it's a long story i've been going to therapy so i'm just trying to work on me and i feel like i needed this friday off to just get myself together so i took friday off and now i'm about to go to walmart target and go get my eyebrows done and I'll be back. Alright y'all, I'm back home. My camera has this grid on it. I don't know how to get it out. But I mean y'all won't see that, but it's kinda like annoying me. But I'm back home. I didn't Yeah, I do. Huh? Yeah, I do. No, I did it. It's like when I press record it just popped up. So I don't know. I can figure it out later. But I went to Walmart, I went to Target. I did not vlog in either of those places because <laughs> Right before I was about to go out and run my errands, <laughs> my mother in law sent me this video and it had me on edge. So I was like I'm not wasting no time. I'm not recording. But I appreciate the video because it, you know, stuff you have to know. But it was like how to be safe while running errands. And I didn't want to waste too much time in public. But anyways, I bought Ari all kinds of snacks. We got organic puffs, organic veggie straws, snack bars. What's this? Fruit, fruit puree for, specifically for like brain development. Dang, I didn't get her any yogurt. That's what I meant to get her too. Um some like healthy versions of like cheese puffs they're little crunchies organic uh with white cheddar broccoli and um they're baked with beans oh shoot we need this this was on the list no i just got so you had canned chili and i don't want to eat no chili out the can so i'm gonna make it oh <laughs> i said canned chili I was just saying, that's what the girl had used. Yeah, we was watching a TikTok recipe, and she used that. But um, but I, I'm I'm sorry, I'm just not. I was, I was gonna eat that chili from the can. But what I wanted to show y'all was this. So I think this, I'm pretty sure this is um a brand by Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union. Um, why are you laughing? I'm still laughing at can chili, and you clutching your pearls. I just I didn't realize I offended you. I was just like, this woman eat meat from a can. And Mr. Can. <laughs> but anyway, so Ari has had, you know, experiences with diaper rash and stuff, and then she also has like sensitive skin. I think she gets a little bit of eczema from her daddy. Probably from me too. But um her skin can kind of be a little crazy. So sometimes her diaper rashes can last a minute. But I found this proudly brand. I think, like I said, I think it's by Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union, but it's specifically for melanated babies. And um, I, I'm pretty sure it was tested by black dermatologists too. So I'm really excited to try that. Hopefully, it works really well for her. It's also cheaper than what I was using before. I think it's like two, a dollar or two cheaper than what I was using before. And I got some probiotics. I didn't get my Garden of Life, I got Target brand. But probiotics are probiotics. I saved five dollars by buying Target brand. It didn't have the one I usually get. I got some DIY lash extensions. We're gonna see how this goes. I'm a little scared. We're gonna see how this goes. I got the small ones because if I don't like it, I can always quit. <laughs> and then I've got these for Ari to try. Some mini waffles with vegetables in them. This one has pumpkin, apple, and cinnamon. So hopefully she likes those. She doesn't really turn down a lot. The only thing I've seen her turn down were bananas and watermelon. She's iffy about eggs. Still? I feel like she's been better. Mm -hmm. And she's iffy about eggs. That's what Mike said. Um, I got this CeraVe healing ointment because... Somewhere Crystal said meat. <laughs> because my... So I have... What's they call it? Isolated eczema. Where I only get it in certain spots randomly. So right now I have it under my arms. And this is the only thing that can kind of soothe it. I got my face cleaner. I got body wash. I got deodorant. I'm going to try this NYX Butter Gloss. Um, see how I like that. And yeah. Got more groceries. I'm not going to go through everything because, you know, it's just groceries for the week. We are very dedicated to cooking instead of eating out. So, let's just look. We have three, all, all three of them TikTok recipes? No. Nah. Oh, okay. But we have... Not the salmon. Right. So, we have salmon. We have that pasta. 
and we have those hot dogs. That's it? Yeah. But that should get us to like Wednesday, Thursday next week, which will be Friday, which we should be able to. I should have like the morning or whatever. You know, to go grocery do. shopping again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. So, yeah, that should get us to next week, Friday. And then we'll go grocery shopping again. And But I really, Mike has been doing this thing where he, like, will make a schedule of, like, what days he works, what time he works, where he works, because that matters. <laughs> um, and then who's cooking and who's cooking what. So that has been very helpful. It has been keeping both of us on track. We don't have any questions. We just get to it. And, yeah. But so for the hot dogs, whoever cooks the hot dogs. Whether it's you or me, I'll make the chili regardless. But yeah. Alright, I need to go wash my hair because I'm about to start braids. And I'll be back. Before I go, I'm going to go open Tyke's Bark Box. Because I know he's excited for it. Look at his face. Yeah, yeah. Alright, job. my living room is a mess. But I'm a mama of a 13 month old and a dog. Like to play with each other. And... <laughs> It's a big old mess. She'll give him toys. He'll chase the toys. Then he'll go get new toys. And my living room is a constant mess if we're downstairs. He knows that this is for him. Well, he thinks after I started getting these, he thinks everything that comes in the cardboard box is for him. So it's, it's, it's exciting when it actually is for him. All right, what we got? Bark to school. Okay, so you wait. Let me get it. Calm down. You got a backpack. Bark pack. Wait. It has crazy crinkle, multi-part toy, two squeakers, a nylon strap. <laughs> Alright, and we got a Sharpe. A Sharpie. Sharpe, like a dog. Get it? This has a grunt squeaker packed with fluff. I hate packed with fluff because it's going to get on my floor. Alright, and then we got Paw Participation Star. This has a squeaker, long, strong hair, and po it's pulls and play. You got a squeaker? No, that's a Sharpie. Oh. <laughs> what is it? Any of you think a squeaker is cool? <laughs> and star don't say good boy say i tried that's that's tight for you <laughs> all right and then for treats he's got magic jerky bars um with real sweet potato real wholesome berries wholesome real berries and 100 percent vegan okay take you ain't never had no vegan treats before <laughs> Then we got mumu pies. Don't need to be I don't know. <laughs> then we got mumu pies. These are uh, with beef, oatmeal, and molasses. He's had these before. And then we have a pumpkin and honey chew stick. I usually give him these on the first day, but um, I'm not giving it to him right now. So he can get it later. Hey, with your toys. All right. Let me go wash my hair before Mike has to leave. All right, y'all, the hair is washed. Now it's got to get blow dried. I got a handful of grapes because me and my baby up here snacking. So I'm going to give her some. And I'm going to sit on this floor and blow dry my hair. Got my little baby gate up. I'm going to put her on the floor, let her crawl around. All right, y'all, it is six o'clock the next day. My hair is all parted, and now I'm gonna start my twist. I was supposed to do my twist yesterday, but. Time is slipping away from me, yeah. If you know, you know. But yes, I am, um, I am about to do my twist. Am I going to record it? Probably. I don't know what this vlog is supposed to be about. I just want to put out some content, so let's go. Also, 
I've been listening to this Sisters Who Kill podcast. Obsessed. If you are a black woman into um, true crime documentaries and stuff like that, this is the podcast for you. I can listen to it without like sitting there and having my focus on it because it's just audio. Um, but yeah. And also, I didn't post a vlog last week, but I was really in my feelings. I just wasn't feeling the best. Um, I have this thing on my face that I don't know what it is. I'm thinking it might be like a blackhead, but it hasn't gone anywhere. I was supposed to have a dermatologist appointment last month but then the day before they called me and were like oh you need to have with your insurance you have to have a recommendation from or a referral from your pcp and i don't go to the pcp i i was supposed to go um this month but then it got pushed back to next month so i'm not even going to be able to see a dermatologist until at least next month so that's been very frustrating <laughs> Um, and then I want to get this keloid removed and all kind of stuff. So yeah, I was just kind of like feeling down and out. Um, but I'm back. And then I also have been going to therapy. And my therapist enlightened me on something that I didn't know. Um, so when you're breastfeeding, your hormones are still out of whack. I stopped breastfeeding RA. It's been like maybe a week, a week and some change of like cold turkey, like she has not asked, I have not given it to her, I think I nursed her like last Monday, not the Monday that just passed, but the Monday before that, um, and she's like, she, she basically weaned herself off a bit, like I just stopped offering and she didn't ask, so, you know, if she would have asked, I probably would have kept going, but she didn't, so, we're done with that, but your hormones can still be out of whack up to six months, um, after you stop nursing and then if this is tmi i'm sorry but i got my cycle back Ari was born in july i got it back that september so you have um pms and and uh menstrual hormones on top of breastfeeding hormones so i was telling somebody that i f i think i was telling my sister or my best friend that i felt like i was super irritable and super irrational when my cycle would come but now it makes sense that my hormones are just out of whack and um like I would tell my husband like I feel like I have two good weeks and two bad weeks and this has been going on for over a year and I literally felt like I was going crazy because I was like why is this happening but I mean and then, like it wasn't anything like too bad I just would be in a funk and I just could not shake it but now that I know that, now that I know that I need to just take time for myself, I don't have to be up under Ari 24-7. He can take her and, you know, have his time. And, of course, I knew that before, but just hearing people reaffirm that that's okay. Like, you're not a bad mom if you just step away. Um, it makes me feel a little bit more um, seen. Like, like, you hear me and you understand the struggle. So, you know... My therapist is also a mom, so she gets it. Um, but yeah, so all that to say, I just have been really like working on myself and I'm really proud of myself and I'm really loving therapy. And yeah, now baby girl's in her room. I'm about to work on my hair and I have to show y'all, I have to try on this Skims dupe. I got the Amazon dress, the Skims dupe. If you know me, you know I'm not a a huge fan of the kardashians i don't really want to give them any of my money but i see the skim stuff and it does look good <laughs> so <laughs> any dupes i can find i'm taking them so i have this dress i have it in blue my favorite color i wanted to get it in green but the green wasn't available on amazon prime i had to wait two weeks to get it and i'm just impatient if i can get the blue in in two days so i got it and i bought this like maybe like three 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 weeks to a month ago i bought this a while ago and i just never put it on so it's sitting here after i do my hair i'm gonna try it on and i need to hurry up and get my hair done because it is almost seven o'clock at night and granted i'm doing twists so it should be quick but let's get into it let's just go
So I was using this hook, but instead I'm doing like the braid, the twist method. Like you braid at the very beginning and then you go into twist. Cause I didn't like how it felt with the hook. So the hook's gotta go. Plus I feel like this would be fast anyway. I need to hurry up so I can cook tonight. <laughs> Do not play with nothing over here. You got your whole room to yourself now. You got your TV on. What do you want with my stuff? Anyways. has been very fussy today mercury is in retrograde so i'm taking everything with a grain of salt um i'm not trying to cause any arguments in my life so she's been fussy i just i just been letting her fuss letting her off my back giving her what she needs when she needs it so that's why i'm not done yet but i came on here to say i kid y'all not i literally just spent like the last 10 minutes in the mirror squeezing this thing and i got i'm sorry if this is like disgusting i got so much like extraction out of it 
that it has gone down. So I don't know, like it feels like it's smaller. I'm gonna try to squeeze it some more. But I don't have time to wait for a dermatologist because this is really getting on my nerves. So I'm gonna keep squeezing it, but it's gone down. Like before it was huge, now it's just like slightly there. I'm gonna keep squeezing it and see what happens. <laughs> but anyway, let me finish this hair and so I can go to bed. I'm tired. Hey guys, and happy Sunday. Here is the finished product. I am very happy at how it came out. At first I was thinking it might be too full, but I don't think so, I think it's just full enough. I still have to add my hair gym, but you guys will see that in the next video. I'm gonna try my lax extensions in my next video. Ari's right here playing it with her books, so it's kind of loud. Um, but before I close this vlog out, I wanted to try this Skims dupe dress. So, I'm about to go put it on and now see how I like it. And I'm making the TikTok as I do it, so. All right, y'all, so here is the dress. 10 out of 10, I really like it. It's, here's a 360. I don't have on any undergarments. It's really like form-fitting, body hugging. I have a small. It's tall girl friendly. It comes all the way down to my ankles. I'm 5'9", so. It, it, I like it. Amazon did their thing with this one. But anyways, I try to post my vlogs 
on Sundays, but ever since I've been going to therapy, my therapist has really stressed the fact that I need to do things that make me happy. And instead of stressing and trying to crank out the video by Sunday, I'm just edit it today and tomorrow and get it up tomorrow because that stressing, especially since I'm not getting paid to post yet, <laughs> um, it's not a huge priority. And people who still want to watch me will still watch me on Monday. So. I'm taking my time. I'll post tomorrow and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye friends.